let's start. Today we will see how to implement the multi time frame RSI in the Trading View Pine script. This is the indicator function with name, multi time frame RSI. Next, we call the input.timeframe function to fetch the user input for the higher time frame. The default value is the daily time frame. Next, we accept the user inputs for the lengths of the RSI and the moving average. Next, we call the RSI function to calculate the RSI, the source of the RSI is close value. Then we call the EMA function to calculate the exponential moving average of the RSI. Next, we call the security function to fetch the higher time frame data. The first argument is the ticker ID, which means the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. The third argument is the RSI and the moving average. We have written bracket 1 in front of the RSI and the moving average. This prevents the indicator repainting issue when we fetch the higher time frame data. In the fourth argument, we handle the gaps. The fifth argument fetches the higher time frame data and merges it into the current bars. Next, we plot the RSI and the moving average. The RSI is plotted in the green color. The moving average is plotted in the red color. The RSI is a range bound indicator. So we plot the overbought and oversold levels at 70 and 30 respectively. And we also plot the middle line at 50. Let's add this indicator to the chart. This is the input panel. I will change the time frame to weekly. Now the indicator is showing the weekly RSI on the daily time frame. Now I will change the time frame to monthly. Now the indicator is showing the monthly RSI on the daily time frame. So that's it. That's how you can implement the multi time frame RSI in the TradingView Pine script. Thank you.